Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you all? Hope you all are doing well. Our yesterday's class was about the use of more and most. And I have also shared the essay with you. Today, we are going to learn application and letter. So first of all, I'm going to share you the patterns of the format of application. Format of application. As you all know that when we start writing an application, we always start it with the starting format, then we have the main body, and then the ending format. What is the starting format of the application? We all know, right? The headmistress, then the school name, then you have to write the place where it is. If for example, your school is in Karachi. So you have to write the place name, then you have to write the subject and the respected madam. Then we have the main body. What is the application about? Then you have to write the ending format, which is thanking you, yours obediently, then your name and day. So now, first of all, I'm going to share you the starting format of application. So the starting format of application is the head ministress then you have to write the school name okay your school name and then you have to write where is the school located means where is in which place it is it is in malid karachi then you have to write the subject subject means what is the letter about then you have to start writing the letter by writing respected madam this is the starting format you don't have to write this in your copy. It's just for a general information. Okay, again, I'm going to <coughs> repeat it. First of all, you have to start writing the headmistress. Then you have to write your school name. Then where is your school located? It means in which place? It is in Malir, Karachi, right? Then you have to write the subject. Subject means about what you're writing the application. For example, if I want to take a sick leave, then I will write here, uh, request what request leave for two days right request sick leave for two days i will write in subject about that because by seeing reading the subject i will know that the application is about a sick leave okay that is the purpose of subject then you have to write respected madam now i'm going to say about main body in main body you will start writing most respectfully. I want to say that I, then you have to write your name in the blank, okay? Student of class two, you are in class two, right? So you have to write your class, mention your class here. In your school, then you have to write your application. And at the last, you can say, you have to write in the last paragraph, I will be very thankful for thankful to you for this act of kindness. So again, I'm going to say that after finishing the, after writing the starting format, which is the head ministress, then the school name, Malid, Karachi, and then you have to write the subject and you have to start your application by writing respected madam. Then you have to write the main body. Main body means your application will come under the main body. This is in this you have to write the whole application. Like if I'm uh, saying that I want a sick leave, uh, leave for sick leave, then I'll write most respectfully. I want to say that I then I will write my name over here. Okay, student of class two in your school. He is in your school. I am not feeling well, so that I can't come to school. About what this application, you have to write all in the main body. Then at the last, you have to write, I will be very thankful to you for this act of kindness. Okay, then come to the ending part. Ending format will be like, after writing, I am, I will be very thankful to you for this act of kindness. You have to write in the next line, 
thanking you. Okay, after writing thanking you, just at the next line you have to write yours obediently. What you will write? Yours obediently. X Y Z means your name, right? And after where you have started writing yours obediently at the same line means it will come come at the same line. You have to write the X Y Z means your name. Then on the next line you have to write the date. You can write today's date or which date. Today's date is twenty fifth June, right? So you have to write twenty fifth June. Now I'm going to share the application with you. Please take the screenshot of it and write it in your composition part. So your application question is, write an application to the headman stress to grant you leave for some urgent work. Your application is to write to the headman stress to grant you leave for some urgent work. Um, I'm giving you two seconds. Please take the screenshot of the question that we can go to the application. Please take the screenshot of the question and you have to write the application in your composition part, in your English fair copy in composition part after writing the essay. Please take the screenshot of application question or write it down in your uh, rough copy then you can write it in your fair copy. I hope you have taken the screenshot of it. Now let's come to our application. Our application is about leave for some urgent work. You're having some urgent work at uh, your home. Someone is not well or you have to go uh, to the hospital or you are not well. So you're writing that application to the school headmistress to grant you leave, okay? Now our application starts, I have already shown you the starting pattern, the main body and the ending pattern, right? So your starting uh, pat, uh, format will be the headmistress, then you have to write the school name, ABC school, then Malir Karachi, Malir Karachi means where is the school located? Then you have to write the subject, what is the subject about? Your subject is about a leave for urgent work, right? So you have to write request leave for urgent work okay then you have to write respected madam then you have to start this is your main body the headmistress abc school mali karachi then you have to write subject your subject is request leave for urgent work then you have to write respected madam this is your starting pattern of for the application then you have to come to your main body it is stated that I am not in a position to attend school. My mother is ill and there is nobody else at home. Kindly grant me leave for one day. I shall be very grateful to you. Okay. Then you have to write thanking you. Then in next line you have to write yours obediently. The name X Y Z. There you have written yours obediently. The next line you have to write your name right below it. Okay, it should be in the same line. Then you have to write the date in the next line. Your application is about a leave for urgent work. You are having an urgent work. So what is uh, what is written here? It is written that I am not in a position to attend school. Means you can't attend the school. Why you can't attend the school? Because your mother is ill and there is nobody else at home, right? So you can't go to school. So you are asking them to kindly grant you leave for one day. I shall be very grateful to you. You can also write thankful to you. Then on the next line, in the middle, you have to write thanking you. Then on your right side, you have to write yours obediently X, Y, Z. And on your left side, you have to write the date. In the application, you will start the application from your left hand side, okay, and you will end it in your right hand side. In your left hand side, you will start writing the head ministress. You are writing the letter to your head ministress, right? So you have to write the head ministress of which school of your school. So you have to write the school's name over here. 
then you have to write where is the school located, means in which place. It's in Malir, Karachi, right? Then you have to write the subject. Your subject is about request, leave for urgent work. Then, respected madam. Because you are writing this letter to your headmistress, right? So you'll write your respected madam. Then you have to start writing the application right after. In the next line where you have added the comma, right below that you have to start writing the application. It is stated that I am not in a position to attend school. Means you are not in a position to attend the school. Means you can't go to the school. Why you can't go to the school? Because my mother is ill. Because the ma your mother is ill. And there is nobody else at home. And there is nobody else at home. So you can't go to school. Kindly grant me leave for one day. You want leave for? one day i shall be very grateful to you okay after finishing this on the next line in the middle you have to write thanking you and on the next line in your left hand uh, on your right hand side sorry you have to write yours obediently xyz means your name and on the next line on, the, on your left hand side you have to write date i will i have wrote here today's date which is 25th june 2020. I'm going to read the application again. The head ministress, ABC school, means your school name, Malir Karachi. Request, what's the subject? Request, B for urgent work. Then you have to say, write, start writing, respected madam. It is stated that I am not in a position to attend school. My mother is ill and there is nobody else at home. Kindly grant me leave for one day. I shall be very grateful to you or I shall be very thankful to you. Then you have to write thanking you in the next line. And on the next line you have to write yours obediently then your name. Your name should come exactly on the same line where you have, where you have started writing yours. Then on your left hand side you have to write date. Okay. Please take the screenshot of the application and write it in your English fair copy in the composition part after essay writing. Please take the screenshot of application and write it in your English fair copy in the composition part after writing the essay. I'm going to share the question again. See, your application is write an, uh, write an application to the headmistress to grant you leave for some urgent work. This is your question for the application. Write an application to the headmistress to grant you leave for some urgent work. Okay. And this is your application. Please take the screenshot of it and write it in your English fair copy. In the composition part after writing the essay. The headmistress ABC School Malir Karachi and your subject is request leave for urgent work. Then you have to write respected madam a comma. See after writing the headmistress you have to add comma it is must. Then in writing the school name ABC School you have to add full stop and then you have to add Comma. Then Malir, after writing our Malir, you have to add comma, then Karachi, full stop. Then you have to add subject, request, leave for urgent work. You have to add full stop. Respected madam, comma, comma is must. Okay. It is stated that I am not in a position to attend school. Full stop. My mother is ill and there is nobody else at home. Full stop. The first paragraph is over. Now we are coming to the next paragraph. Next paragraph starts where you have started the first paragraph. The next paragraph will also start right from there. Kindly grant me leave for one day. Full stop. I shall be very grateful to you. Okay. Full stop. Then on the next time, you have to write thanking you. Full stop. Then yours obediently comma. 
then you have to write your name like x y z then full stop after writing the name you have to add a full stop and then you have to write the date okay 25th june 2020 and you have to add a comma after june now let's come to our letter your letter pattern is same like your application in letter also the starting format main body and then the ending format so as you know that the starting format which you have studied in, the, in your previous class one is changed okay your starting format in your starting format in your right hand side you have to write your house name for example my house name number sorry your house number for example my house number is p38 and after writing the house number i you must put a comma okay and on the next line where i have written house number p38 comma right below that i have to write the street number okay in which street my house comes because there are many streets right right you don't know that in which street is house number B38 coming. So you must know the street number. So street number of my house is 3. Okay. Then you have to write, put a comma after it. And where is it? It is in Madir, Karachi. Okay. And uh, after Madir, you have to add a comma. Here a comma will come okay after my lead you have to put a comma and after karachi you have to put a full stop i'm correcting the mistake over here okay it's a full stop you just have to add a full stop And then you have to write the date. In application, you're writing the date at the end of application, right? But in letter, you have to write the date after writing the house address. You have to write your house and number, then your street number, and you have to add comma in it, okay? After writing the house number, you have to add comma, and after writing the street number, you have to add comma. Then you have to write Madir, comma, Karachi, full stop. Okay, there is a full stop over here. Then you have to write the date, and then in the next line you have to write uh, to whom you are writing the letter, whether to your brother, to your friend, to your father, to your sister. Okay, then you have to put a comma and you have to start writing your letter. This is the starting pattern for your letter. I'm going to say again you have to write house number for example my house number is p38 then you have to add a comma then you have to write the street number street number helps us to find the house easily street number three my house is in street number three then you have to add comma and then you have to write where is your house located i'm living in malir so i wrote here malir then comma and where is Malir located? It's located in Karachi, right? So you have to write Karachi, full stop. Then you have to write the, the date. Okay, uh, this month is June. So you have to write today's date, June 25, 2020. You can write the date uh, when, if, the, if in your examination the date is August or September, you can write that date, okay? You have to write that date uh, for example august 20 2020 or september 20 2020 okay you have to write today's date today's date is june 25 comma 2020 then you have to start writing the letter on your left hand side by writing dear brother dear sister or dear father dear friend then you have to add a comma and start writing now let's come to the main body main body of letter is have to write how are you they are asking then right hope you are doing well full stop then you have to start writing your letter 
and then you will at the end you will write hope to see you again now let's come to the ending format your ending format will be in your right hand side in application you are starting from your left hand side and then you are ending in your in the right hand side but in letter you will start from the right hand side and then you end also in right hand side you write your loving comma then the name see from where i started writing your loving at, right below that on the same line okay i have written the name x y z x y z means you have to write the name now i'm showing you the letter please take a screenshot of it and write it in your english fair copy after writing essay and application you have to write the letter so your letter is write a letter to your friend inviting him or her to your new house means you have bought a new house you have bought a new house or you have rented a new house and you shifted from your old house to the new house and you are writing a letter to your friend inviting him or her means if you are a boy then you have to write him because you will invite your boy, uh, your friend who are boys and if you are a girl you have to write her Girls will invite your friends and their girls, right? So you invite them to visit your to your ho new house. Why? Because you want to show them your new house. Okay. Write a letter to your friend inviting him or her to your new house. You are writing a letter to your friend inviting him or her to your new house to come and visit your new house. This is your letter. Please take a screenshot of it, and you have to write it in your English fair copy in the composition part after writing essay and application. As I have told, showed you earlier that our starting pattern will be house number, street number, then where is your address, and then date. So my house number is B thirty eight. After writing the house number, you must add a comma. In, okay. And then you have to write the street number. Street number helps us to find the house very easily. So street number is three. After writing the street number, you must add a comma. And then you have to write Malir comma. See, after writing Malir, you have to add comma. And then Karachi. Where is Malir? Malir is in Karachi, right? And then you have to add a full stop. Then you have to write today's date, which is June twenty fifth, comma two thousand. 20 okay you have to write today's date i'm telling again that you have to start your letter in your from your right hand side and you have to start by, uh, by writing your house number and your street number then you have to write uh, the address where it is and then today's date okay then from and then you have to start the main body okay this is your starting pattern right your main body starts from your left hand side by writing dear friend you are writing the letter to your friend right so you have to write your dear friend and then you must add a comma then on the next line right after the comma you have to begin your writing the letter below the comma where you have uh, put it the comma right below that you have to start writing your letter i was happy to receive your letter full stop you will be happy to know that we have moved to a new house which is in Malib. Full stop. It has four rooms. Full stop. It is airy. Full stop. Okay, this is your first paragraph. The next paragraph is we have very good neighbors. Full stop. Kindly visit to our house. Full stop. Then right after where you entered you have to write in your right hand side you have to write yours loving comma then the your name and full stop okay x y z full stop after writing x you have to put a full stop and then after writing y you have to add full stop okay and then after writing z also you have to add a full stop so what are you saying to your friend you are saying that i am happy to receive your letter your friend wrote you a letter so you are very happy to receive it you see means you bought the letter you read it and you are feeling very happy you will be happy to know that we have moved to a new house which is in mandir you are saying your friend that you will be very happy 
to know that we have moved to a new house. And where is the new house? It is in Malhi. Okay. It has four rooms. How many rooms does your new house have? It has four rooms. And what are the rooms? It is airy. Airy means it is open. Okay. It is open and uh, it has so many windows so that air can come inside. Okay. Fresh air can come inside the room. So he is saying that uh, it is airy. And in the next line, in the next paragraph, see, I have started the next paragraph right where I started the first paragraph. Okay. We have very good neighbors. Okay. He's saying that we are having very good neighbors kindly visit to our house. He's telling to his friend that kindly visit to our house. Full stop. Then you have to write yours loving comma. You must add a comma after writing yours loving. And where you have started writing yours loving, write below that. You have to write X, Y, Z means their name. And then you have to add, put a full stop. But in your fair copies, you must write as it is. You must write X, Y, Z, and a full stop. Okay? Please take the screenshot of it and write it in your, uh, in your English fair copy right after the composition part. I hope you have taken the screenshot and you have understood your letter. So, our today, our chapter number one, our unit number one, which was a home all about sea animals it is completed i'm going to take uh, give you the review of chapter by showing the words meaning question answers essay and present continuous tense and use of more and most what we have learned in our previous class i'm going to give a review of it again so those who were absent in the first second and third class please take the screenshot of it and write it in your english fair copies See, these are the words meaning tail. Tail means and part of animal. Okay, looking. Looking means to search for. Means you're looking for something. Okay, meal means food. Free. Free means not fixed in position. Free to move anywhere. Moving. Moving means in motion. Okay, moving means in motion. Chasing. Chasing means hunting. Okay, your uh, animals hunt for their food, right? Please take a screenshot of the words meaning and write it in your English fair copy. Now I'm going to share the word question answers with you as well. Your textual question answers. There are five question answers. The first one is what are the snails and whales doing? What are the snails and whales doing? The snails and whales are using their tails. What are they doing? They are using their tails. What are the seals and eels doing? The seals and eels are looking for meals. What are the catfish and flatfish doing? The catfish and flatfish are chasing catfish. What does this poem describe? This poem describes about sea animals. What do you see in the sea? Animals moving free in the sea. Please take a screenshot of the question answers. Now I'm going to show you the essay. Essay is about sea animals, right? Sea animals. There are many sea animals. But my favorite sea animal is whale. Whale is the largest animal on earth. They have fatty skin with large black back. The head of whale is very large with wide mouth. Whales have very sharp teeth. They are carnivorous in nature. They have two nostrils called blowholes which help them to breathe inside the water. Whales live up to 90 years old. I hope you have taken the screenshot of it and our unit has been completed. Allah Hafiz and thank you.